Good morning, Brennan family. This morning's Melanin Moment will highlight one of the most influential Black American artists of the past 30 years, Jean-Michel Basquiat. Jean-Michel Basquiat was an American painter born in Brooklyn, New York in 1960 to a Haitian father and a Puerto Rican mother. As a child, he was very artistic and creative, inspired by his environment and his family. His mother, Matilde, was an enthusiast of fashion and art. She would frequently take him to local art galleries and, and museums, which sparked an interest for young Basquiat. His father, Gerard, was an enthusiast of music. He would often play his records, which would boom throughout the home. Basquiat was also inspired by cartoons, comic books, and biblical scenes. One day as a child, while playing in the street with his friends, Jean-Michel was tragically hit by a car and needed extensive medical care. While recovering in his hospital bed, his mother brought him a copy of a Grey's Anatomy textbook. He became fascinated with the anatomical drawings, most notably the skulls, muscle tissue, and guts, which would later become a notable motif in his work. His parents would later divorce as a result of the hardship of dealing with the medical bills. Jean-Michel was sent to live with his father in an abusive household, where he would use his drawings and art as an escape from his reality. As a young man, he and his friend Al Diaz entered into the world of graffiti art in the late 1970s in Lower Manhattan. As often as they could, they would create art in public spaces under the pseudonym Samo. Their work garnered lots of attention as it boldly challenged corporate America and quickly spread throughout the borough. Soon after he left home, he began selling handmade postcards to make ends meet, living from couch to couch with his friends in the East Village an area known at the time for its blossoming music and art scene. He and his friends would form an avant-garde band, and at the age of 21, Jean-Michel decided to become a full-time painter. Oftentimes, he didn't have enough money for art materials, so he would recycle scraps of wood and metal that he would find out in the street, using oil sticks, crayons, paint, and pulled quotes from newspapers, comic books, restaurant menus, and textbooks for his paintings. He would often work on multiple projects at once. His chaotic pieces quickly gained acclaim and admiration as it also challenged America's views on themes like race, poverty, power, identity, and politics. His style was defined by its bold use of colors, lines, text, and anatomy. Basquiat successfully created his own aesthetic, becoming a pioneer of the art form of neo-expressionism. Though his rise to fame was meteoric, he also received a lot of criticism. Most of it was racially charged. Critics called his work primitive and childlike, while others regarded it as Picasso-esque. Despite his criticism, Basquiat managed to become one of the very few Black American artists to break out into the international art scene. A driving influence of his work was race. Basquiat famously noted his frustration with modern art at the time and the way that black people were never really portrayed realistically or in general at that time. To celebrate black culture, black characters were most often the main subjects of his paintings, highlighting his and many others' experiences of living as a black American in New York. Unfortunately, his life was cut short at the age of 27 due to an overdose. But to this day, Basquiat's life and work continues to be an inspiration for our culture today. His influences can be seen in our music, fashion, art, design, and film. The Basquiat crown is one of his most recognizable motifs, a representation of not only his personal success, but also celebrating blackness when the mainstream art world would not. In 2017, an untitled work of his actually sold for over $100 million making Jean-Michel Basquiat the highest selling American artist of all time. In our Melanin Moment this morning, I would like to celebrate Jean-Michel Basquiat as an artist, a musician, and a trailblazer, creating a seat at the table for future black artists. Thank you.